This time of year, contracts and weather are often related, plus a look at price reductions and what that likely means for prices for all of 2023. That's what we're covering in this week's report. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes to join us for our weekly look at real-time market insights into our local housing market. My name is Scott Parker. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at John Green Realtor, and we'll get you started with new listings for the four counties we track. So, so far as we anticipated, tracking the trend of last year almost perfectly, but uh, off the pace from last year by about 10% as we head into February. Here's under contract activity, very similar to the week prior. And one note of commentary, as we mentioned the opener, is that we had snow and a cold snap after a pretty mild few months of winter. So this time of year, that does absolutely factor. And so weather has been very nice this past couple of days. So we'll see what kind of impact that has in next week's data. But we definitely see a correlation this time of year between um, contract activity and weather. Let's go over to off-market activity. So this represents those active listings that came off the market without a successful sale. A uh, month turned to a new month So this in this past week's data. So we'd anticipate an uptick, which is definitely what we got. Uh, still very much tracking the past two years. Next two Charts are going to give us a feel for overall balance in the current marketplace. Uh, this one is uh, this number settled in a bit because we had a modest uptick in new listings and we had that kind of flat week over week contract activity. So you see this one pull back a little bit here. We add in the off market activity so we can get the full snapshot of, of where inventory is for this past week. And this one actually stayed flat because of that offset that was created by that slight uptick we saw in off market activity. So they kind of uh, equaled each other, uh, sell, uh, equaled each other uh, out in terms of how many homes came on the market versus how many left. All right, let's take a look at price decreases in Naperville. They uh, peaked in the fourth quarter, which is pretty seasonally typical. And as, as as expected, they are dropping as more new inventory comes to the market in the first quarter of the year. What's noticeable, though, is how significant of a decline we have seen in the seven-day average there, which is the dotted line. And that just points to a strong surge out of the gate and bodes really well for pricing stability for the rest of 2023. So to recap, Contracts cooled uh, with the cold weather and something we're going to be watching in this upcoming week and price reductions have really fallen off a cliff and that is a really good sign for price stability as we move throughout 2023. Thanks as always for joining us and we'll see you again next week.